Petunia, Rebirth 3. Where to go? Um, where are we going? I can't decide. Where are we going? where to go. I'd rather play games, but oh well. Whatever. I guess I can go with you. Where are we going? And where are we going? Please decide where to go.
I wish a barrage of bullets appeared out of nowhere. Seriously, okay? Why must I fight this? Let's it! Quick! Ha! Hey! Ha! Ha! I'll nap in your face! A complete and... If you want me, 
Come it is and my get turn. me. Uh, I yeah. wonder what to do. Ha! Ha! There! Finally! A complete! This is gonna level up. I feel powerful. Level? Looks like level! I'm gonna get my death level up! Level! What is this power? Huh? Me? Fight? Why must I fight? My you? turn! Ha! Got you! Ha! Got you! You're in the way! What can it always be my turn? Here you go! It's all over! Me? Ouch! Here I go! I suppose some of level up! Everyone, please fight seriously, okay? Let's do this quick! There! Ha! There! Finally! Here you go! A complete! This is fun. I wish my love. I feel more. I level! Ha! My devil's level up! Finally! My power is awoken. Phew! 
Here I go. All My turn. Was written. Got you. Next. Got you. Ha. Why can it always be my turn? A complete and. Enjoy playtime and well lifetime. Done. Here I go. My, my turn. Ha. Ha. Stick. Oh, nap your face. It's one to two.
all so much for coming here today. So, um, well... Hey! We can't hear you at all! Can't you speak a bit louder? <gasps> I'm so, so, so sorry! <sighs> so, uh, I'd like to sh start the Shevin Changes meeting? Don't talk like a fool. She's fumbling all her words. If she thinks that kind of speech is cute at her age, yikes! A at my age? Oh dear. I know I'm not exactly the youngest thing around, but... Okay, enough cutie pies. It's cruel to tease her about it too much. Can't we hurry this meeting up? I'm a very busy man with a very busy schedule to keep. Who even called this meeting? I came a long way, so if it's about something trivial, someone's dead. Um, the one who called today's meeting was... M me. Get out of town! You? <sighs> I'm sorry about that. It was impudent of me to call you all here. Enough! This meeting will drag on if you get spooked by every little comment. Still, having little Ray give us a call is rare. Something big must have happened. Yes, something has. I can't confirm the info, and I haven't gathered any evidence, but I feel it's highly credible, so... Enough procedural nonsense. Out with it! Uh, okay. Actually, a, a new CPU has appeared in Planetune. What? Are you certain of this? R rather, ha had appeared. Or may have appeared. Speak with certainty! Speak with unbridled passion! Appeared! A new CPU appeared in Platitude! I can't be asked to believe it just yet. But if true, this is quite a conundrum. Planetune, huh? What do you make of this? Two CPUs in a nation that would topple from a single sneeze? How can I believe this? Say what you like, but it's completely true. Maybe. So, who's your informant? How'd you get this info to... That's... Well... Nothing like that has gotten stuck in my web of information. I hate to say it, but I highly doubt that little Ray here could get information before me. Well, um, that is to say, due to some profound circumstances... I will only warn you once. If you attempt to deceive me, you had better be prepared to die. There's... there's no way I'd ever try to deceive you! That... that would be outrageous! Still, it needs to be verified. It's quite a shocker, if true. A shock it got by me, that is. Uh, oh, um, I'm sorry. How would you confirm this crap? I'd rather pick Belly Limp than follow up on this sketchy story. For these kinds of blue-collar situations, I think we all know who would be appropriate. Hmm? Oh, did that noisy little brat decide not to join us today? It's a welcome change of pace. Her shrieking blows my eardrums. A actually, I let her know about it before this meeting. Then she ran off without hearing the rest of my report, even though I tried to stop her. Ha! Impatient little twerp! Either way, it simplifies matters. We'll just wait for her to get back and then discuss further. So, we wait for now, huh? I hope it isn't a waste of time. And here I wanted to hurry back to the office and work late again. Oh, hey! I'm starved! When do the caterers get here? Yeah, it's only polite for the one who calls the meeting to provide the others with food! Chuck, chuck, chuck! Uh huh? But whenever any of you called one, there wasn't even a pitcher of water! You want to say that again? Care to voice that complaint a bit louder? Not at all! I'll prepare something right away! Oh, I see. These seven sages are the villains this time around. Were you really listening? Are you sure you understand? Why so skeptical? I definitely said, oh, I see. Okay, then paraphrase what I just went over with you. Ooh, I'll take this as a challenge. I'll gladly face you, player two. So, the seven whatevers don't like CPUs ruling the nations and whine a lot and say bad stuff, right? So far, so good. Therefore, I conclude that those folks are the bad guys. Ta-da! Flawless victory! You cut out the whole second half. It's not that simple. I knew you stopped paying attention. 
Ah, uh, okay. You got me. Huh? Neppy gave the wrong answer? Do you mean to say that you stopped listening to me too? Um, that one girl who picks on me is the Seven Sages, right? I don't like her. And you clearly only get about half of the situation, too. Fine. I'll explain again. I might even talk longer this time. So make a sandwich and listen. Oh, really? Can we, like, mash through the boring stuff with the X button? I'm not very good at mashing. I prefer the skip function. So let's press the square button. You will listen to my plot-advancing lecture. Got it? Okay. Good. The Seven Sages is a shadowy organization that gets its name from having seven head members. Their platform advocates proper laws, and they want to found a nation free from CPU governance. Of course, because they believe that, they're against the very existence of CPUs. Ever since Plutia created Planet Tune, she's been harassed by them several times. Their operations are said to have started 10 years ago. Any more info is vague and pretty sparse. As for the seven heads of the group, only one is known to the public. It's even rumored they have a hand in criminal activities behind the scenes. But there's no proof. And that thing I said about them having some connection to Louis? That's one of those rumors. But apparently, a good number of people agree with their ideals. So we can't say with 100% certainty that they're evil. So, that was a pretty amazing summary. Did you get all that? Uh... Oh, there's a picture of you two next to the definition of wasted effort. I'm so tired now. Ah, Pluty, did you hear that? Noir just gave up on us. Aw, don't give up on us. You two are so noisy. Just look up the stupid Nepedia entry later. Noir, you're such an ice queen. And your explanations are so roundabout and hard to understand. That's a fact. It's easier on our noggins to call them the bad guys. The, uh, um, oh, the seven stages. The seven stages are bad. Seven sages? Oh, jeez, how can you forget that name so fast? Gothunk! I found you! Oh, who's this broad? Plutie, we have a visitor. Speak of the tiny devil. It's the me! So you're the one. Hm. I see. Hmm. Well, what's with this kid? I feel like you're unzipping my vest with your eyeballs. It Wait, she's here for Neptune? Oh, in that case, sorry, but I don't feel like dealing with her. Oh, me neither. Sorry, Neppy. What? You two are gonna leave my party? Come on, don't do that. I guess you appear to be a teen, but your body is so underdeveloped. Hmm. All right, you're a little girl. Inconceivable. A girl smaller than me just called me a little girl. And to think they would allow such a young and naive little girl to work as a CPU. It's unjust. It's brutish. It violates international law. Oh, yikes. Now she's going on a tirade. What's the deal? Why do I got to sit and nod while a little girl I don't know makes fun of me? Did you just call me a little girl? How am I little, huh? Only little girls call others names. If that's your killer comeback, you're definitely a little girl. I mean, you said it to me first. You said it again! Oh, that's twice! I'll never forgive you for this slight! Oh, you want to challenge me to a duel? I won't lose in a cat fight. Ow! You hit me! I got hit by a stupid little girl! <laughs> You're no match for me. You need about a hundred years of training before you can insult me, little girl. Ah, you did it again! Ooh, Nappy is so strong. More like her opponent is embarrassingly weak. I see. Instead of arguing, she just smacked her in the mouth. No way I could have done that. I, I can't believe it. It's illegal to hurt little girls. You'll pay dearly for this! You just admitted to being a little girl. I guess I win. No, 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 that, that was just... 
<laughs> I knew you were just a little baby girly girl. <laughs> Neppy, that might have been a bit too much gloating. She's immature, even compared to this kid. Why are you two yelling at me? You abandoned me, so I had to fight back. I had no choice. Now, now, don't cry. That's a good little girl. Jeez, looks like Neptune had her claws out. Oh, there's a blood smear. Poor little thing. Huh? I'm being shunned, aren't I? D -d don't touch me! I won't accept charity from my sworn enemies. Ouchie! Don't get an attitude, we're just trying to help. Shut your stupid mouth! I see Planetune has finally shown its true colors. You make children work and you react violently when criticized. What a bad influence for kids. You started it. I'm not a child. You always come here, make a big fuss, and then toss around false accusations. Shut up! I'm on a mission to protect every single child in the whole wide world. That means I am in the right. Therefore, all who oppose me are big pedophiles and gross weirdos! Um, worst logic ever. More importantly, that woman's information was correct. I can't believe we're evenly matched. She made you cry. How is that anywhere close to even? It was a flawless victory for Nappy. Shut up, I said! Ahem! Well, I completed my investigation. You're the new CPU here, right? Ooh, has my awesome reputation reached even this little girl I've never seen before? I'm flattered, but if I get too famous, my private life will... Too much charisma is a curse! <laughs> She's not a CPU. What? Uh, Noir, don't shoot me down so fast. She totally thought I was a CPU. But she's right. You can't even transform. What? Oh, not you too, Plutie. You shouldn't crush a poor little girl's dreams like that. You're not a CPU? But how did I lose? Because you're weak. Maybe because you're weak. Less bark and bite than a doggoo. <clears throat> you! What is your name? You didn't catch it? Neptune. Neptune. I won't forget that name. Oh, hang on, kid. I think it's rude to adults when you demand a name without giving your own. Hmm, fine. I'll tell you just this once. I am the Seven Sieges Idol and Public Relations Manager. You may call me Abnus. Introductory graphic text? What the heck, developers? I didn't get one when I appeared. I can't wait to talk about this in excruciating detail at the next Seven Sages meeting. If we seriously tried, we could bury this nation under regulatory red tape before you could blink. Be prepared. And there she goes. It's so not fair that she got a cool logo. She's just some weak kid. If someone like her is one of the leaders of the Seven Sages, maybe they're all pushovers. Well, if you assume they're all like that girl, sure. But we don't know anything about the others. It's so good you're here, Nappy. Every other time she comes, that girl teases me over and over. Idiots can't handle difficult conversations, thus the violence. Every tool has its use. <laughs> you flatter me. Wait, that was a compliment, right? Sure, why not? She might come back to complain about what happened, so you can handle her then, Neptune. Please protect us, Nappy. Uh, um, okay. It's nice to be relied on, but I feel like I'm being taken advantage of.
fire! I can't walk anymore! I'm pretty tired, too. Gosh, you two are pathetic. This isn't very hard. No, uh -uh. It's so hard! You're too energetic, Noir. I concur. I don't know about Plutie, but my lovely frame wasn't built for hard labor. Don't make such weird excuses. Plutia is the CPU and you're just some random moocher. You're both in positions where you ought to be working ten times harder than I am. Yikes, that's harsh. You're so strict, Noir. Not even Isti has ever been that hard on me. Only people who are pushed to work hard will become successful. Hey, I've been wondering, who's this Isti person you mention every now and then? Yeah, I'm kind of curious too. Is she your history teacher? Heck no. She's more like a coach than a teacher, if that makes sense. Ooh, you're so good with synonyms, Nappy. It doesn't matter what term you use, we're asking who she is. Hmm, how do I explain it? Isti is the oracle for my nation. She floats on a book and is real smart, but kind of weird, too. She's always telling me to work. I don't know if she's what we'd call a human, though. Okay, enough. I think I got the gist of it. You do? Wow, Noir. You are so amazing. I guess you don't get it, then. Behold, for I am wearing my shocked face. It's not that I understood you, but there's someone living here very similar to who you described. She floats, is smart but a little bit odd, and yells at everyone to get to work. That's right. She sounds like Eastwar. I'm glad you finally understand. But wait, you said Eastwar? Plutia, Plutia, please open the door. Her timing couldn't be better. <gasps> that voice, it's way more lolly than the one I'm used to, but could that possibly be? Welcome home, Eastwar. They finally made it back. Holy floating gravy boats! You took so long. Where did you go? I went shopping at the general store just outside the city. That's an hour's walk, Max. Yes, but they had a deal on AA batteries, and when bought in bulk become quite a heavy burden. Due to that, my return trip took me about three days. Aww. Don't push yourself when you're so itty bitty. You're a weird one, Iswar. I fail to see why my anecdote is amusing. Hmm? This is a new face. Who is she? This is Nappy. My new friend. Is that so? I have a strange feeling that she and I have met somewhere before. Oops, where are my manners? I am the one who guides the CPU of this nation. Iswar. You're... You're Isti, a teeny tiny bite-sized Isti. <sighs> what is the matter with you? Please refrain from embracing me without warning. So flippin' cute. It's a handheld Isti, mini Isti. Oh man, this is the best thing ever. So Isti is Istwar? Looks that way. But she keeps calling her small for some reason. Oh, but Isti sounds so cute. I like that nickname. I'm going to start calling her that too. I am having trouble breathing. Help me, you two. Uh-oh. Isti is going to get smushed. Yeah, we need to stop Neptune. Come on, let her go already. What a frightening ordeal! You must not grab someone and squeeze them with all your might! <laughs> Sorry about that. I couldn't help it, because you're just so cute and tiny. So basically, if you had a cute and furry pet or something, you'd end up accidentally killing it. Hey, can I take her home with me? If I set her next to Big Isti, it'd make for a really great postcard. There's a Big Isti too? Wow! Can we trade for a bit? Please do not trade me like a toy! 
So, Neptune, was it? Yep. I guess you don't know who I am either, huh, Mini Isti? I do not. Well, I do not believe so, but I feel a strange tug in my heart. Really? So maybe you do know me in your little heart of hearts. No, no. It is not like that. May I hear your situation in as much detail as you can muster? So... I see. So where you come from, you are a CPU. Noir and I also exist there. That's the truth. I thought Noir was pretending that she didn't recognize me at first. But this Noir is actually a clone. And you're all teeny tiny now, so I don't know what to believe anymore. I know I've mentioned it before, but stop calling me things like a clone and a phony. I see. If it is like that, could it be? No, I mustn't rule out the possibility. Hmm. Uh-oh. You're smoking from the head again, Isti. Are you okay? You're not trying to process something beyond your capabilities, are you? Hmm? Mini Isti has low specs? So they went with convenience over performance when they built her? I am crunching some very large numbers, so please refrain from poking fun at me. So that means... Yes, yes! I believe that is the only logical conclusion. Which is... Don't act satisfied on your own, print it out or whatever you do. It is merely conjecture, but... Neptune, it is possible that you have come here from a different dimension. Holy crap a -rooney. This is complete nonsense! No, no! We were all supposed to shout in disbelief at the same time! Didn't you get the memo? I'll never believe such an insane explanation! Eastwar, this girl's just feeding us a giant croc, so you don't have to take her story seriously! It's no croc! I'm a CPU, and also this entire franchise's main character. Were she lying, it would be easy to expose her. But there are hints of reality in her words. Plus, it is the only way for me to explain the mysterious bond I have toward Neptune. Okay, so... What's a different dimension? Eastwar, you're tired from that shopping trip. You might have blown a gasket or something. No, tell me how I can get back home. You've gotta know, Mini Isti. Please do not all speak to me at once! I, I must think. First, we must verify that you are indeed from another dimension. And how are we supposed to do that? It's impossible! All things are possible! What? If another Eastwar exists in Neptune's dimension, then I should be able to communicate with her. Wow, crazy amazing! When did you download that app? Wow. So we can talk to the Big Isti? Please wait a moment while I attempt to establish a connection. Okay, thanks and stuff. Beep. Ba bum. Ba bum. Doop. Oh, fine. Do whatever you want. Ha <laughs> Um, hey, Miniesty, hello. No connection yet. This is taking longer than dial up. Please do not speak to me now. This is not something that can be done quickly. Communicating with another dimension will take me, um, about three days. That long? How about we aim for three minutes? Try harder! We want to communicate! Please do not request the impossible from me. Also, I will be unable to move or speak until I establish a link. Therefore, I ask that you do not cause mischief for a few days. Pardon me. Hey, wait! I have more talking to do! Searching for network... Establishing link... Searching for network... Well, junk in my trunk! She's like a frozen computer! Ho, oh, oh. ho... Wow, she doesn't move at all. She's like one of my dolls. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some different clothes on her. Stop it! She said not to bother her for a few days, so let's leave her alone, okay? Once this fails, Eastwar will know that Neptune is lying.
a nip. Everyone, please fight seriously, okay? Here I go. Our victory was quick. written. Hey. Ha. Yeah. Finally. Hey. Easy peasy. Victory. Level. Level up. I'm gonna be invincible. We are at an advantage. Phew. I can fight too. My I turn. Ha! Ha! Step! Step! Get out of the way! Yeah! Hey! A complete and utter victory!
I found something! It's your fault for being caught well, off guard! Uh, hey, my won. turn! This! Ha! This! Ha! Just oh, a pair! your face! Yeah! It's one thing. thinking deeply about anything. What's wrong? Um, well... Were there always so many monsters here? Good observation. Their numbers have actually been increasing, especially since you became a CPU. But if there are this many monsters around, we can't have a picnic. We'd be fine. They're weak enough that I can handle them by myself. But if we run all over... And get into fights, our lunches would get smushed. So, are we there now? How about now? Now? You are so irritating. I said it's a bit further, didn't I? Look, you can see it from here. Oh, so that's the goal line. Time to activate my turbo mode. Gotta loot the loot before noir. Hey, stop! <laughs> Neppy made a silly joke. I'd hardly even call it a joke. Hey, I'm first! Stop right there! <laughs> what kind of idiot would I be if I stopped because you asked? <laughs> Oof. Ouch! Come on, don't ram into me like that! Uh, you're the one who ran full tilt and then stopped mid-stride. What happened? Take ye a gander or yonder. People, they're big. Really? Who'd come all the way out here besides us? To think we found two of them in one go. This is unprecedented. You bet! Maybe it's the reward for when an old hag like you does something nice for a change. Rat, if you want that tiny heart to continue beating, you will stop calling me that. I only speak the truth. Old? Check. Hag? <laughs> yeah, check. I should be asking you to stop calling me a rat, too. I already have an adorable name, and that is where it you. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Using your logic, what's so wrong with calling a rat a rat? Hey, hey, hey. A slick laugh like that is reserved for the mouse world's idol. Me. A mouse and old lady comedy team? Huh. I feel like I've seen that little rat thing before. You know them? I think so. Uh, my memory is more fuzzy than that rodent. 
I get the same brain tingle from the old lady, too. Like she's been slapped on my heart's Akashic record. So, do you know them or not? Wait, they're holding the... <gasps> hmm? Oh, is that a rat? It's so adorable. Ugh! I won't let them have it! Huh? Noir, what's up? Hey, wait! Mr. Rat! Squeaky, squeaky! You! Wait, girl, wait! Huh? Who the hell are you? It doesn't matter. Give me what you're holding now! Noir, why so serious? Chill. They have two CPU memories. Oh, okay. Wait, what? I don't know what's happening right now, but it sounds like you're also after these two. I'll only say it once more. Hand them over peacefully now. Whoa, Noir, that was totally something a villain would say. I better join this parade. Yeah, hand them over, scumbags. Everything will be peachy if you do what she says. Otherwise... What a noisy bunch of brats. Wait, you. Are you... Neptune? Huh? How in the heck do you know my name, lady? Have I already become famous over in this world? Why? Though I've never met you, I knew with a single glance. You are the one person I hate the most in all of game industry. Uh, okay. I'd prefer if you didn't fall head over heels for me in such a wacky love-hate way. Rat, take these and go. I'll eliminate these twerps. Huh? You cool with that, you? You fight us alone? Of course. You should be honored. You will be sent to your graves by none other than R4, one of the seven sages. What did you say? Seven sages. She definitely said blah, 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 seven sages. Dude, don't give that away, you. Who cares? These fools will be dead very, very soon. Uh, I think that cockiness just triggered your defeat flag. Whatever, I guess. It ain't no concern of mine what happens to the old hags of this world. Bye! Wait! You leave those right here! Where do you think you're going? I am your opponent. Don't worry. I'll kill you just as painfully after I finish with Neptune. So I'm just an afterthought to you. Oh, <laughs> you're underestimating me. Playing second griddle to me is serious business. I mean, she thinks I'm her fated rival and stuff. How long do you intend to prattle? It's not my style to kill swiftly. Show me your pitiful, disgraceful struggle to survive. What is up with this crazy lady? Is she going to turn into a dragon or something? <laughs> My final gift to you! Burn my image into your eyes! I won't lose to the likes of you! It is my turn! Yeah. Not bad! I can Impudent. fight too! Impudent! Here I go! Is it Broccoli's turn, you? Not bad! Curse you! Impudent! Now, what you do? Get ready! Finally! Gonna beat you up! Impudent! That's all! Curse you! I can't! <laughs> don't fight! I will Why meet your expectations! My turn? Not hey! bad! That's all! I never thought I would need to use this! I won't turn. forgive you! I never thought I would need to use this. I won't forgive you! Die! 
Good CPUs. This was taught to me by my predecessor. I won't forgive you. I lost two weeks. Unfathomable. Die, CPUs. You'll never leave here alive. Let me handle the situation. It's my You'll turn! Never leave here alive. Night, night. This is my passage of fate. Man, that old lady is pretty annoying when she does stuff on a whim. I wouldn't care if she were by herself. But it sucks when she drags me into it. Please wait, Mr. Rat. Who's there? Finally caught up! Aww. You look even cuter close up! Me? Yep! Cute and cuddly! <laughs> you got good eyes, kiddo! However, I am not a rat! You may call me Warichu! Warichu? Ew, that's not very cute. What'd you say? Anyway, Mr. Rat? Why aren't you? Why are you staring at me? I was looking for your outfit zipper. Eh, is it on your back? This ain't no outfit and there ain't no zipper. I'm the real deal. Ain't nobody in my skin but me. Oh, really? Hmm, that might be a problem. Why is that a problem? Um, because a stuffed animal rat. Cute. But real rats are icky. <laughs> icky? I'll have you know that among my peers, I bathe about three times as often. Wait, why am I even arguing with this ditzy broad? I'm a busy individual, so I gotta scram. Choo. But real rats dig through trash and play in the poopy sewer. You. You're so gross. Hey, enough's enough. Choo. Knock it off, would ya? And I bet you even... Hmm? Wait up, Mr. Rat! Why are you so persistent? How many times do I gotta say that I'm busy ch Um... Well... Um... Those thingies you're holding... Uh... What are they called again? Uh, they're, uh... Those things, right? You know... The things Noir and Nappy really, really want? Like hell I'd know, too. But those two broads you mentioned, they're the ones you left back there? I don't know. Maybe. They really want those things. So gimme? Please? Don't be a fool. You really think I can hand these over just like that? Aw, don't be a meanie. Who are probably dead as doornails right about now. That old hag doesn't know how to die like that. I bet they're both beaten to a pulp by now. I'm sorry they got caught up in her menopausal nonsense, but hey! Uh, what does that mean? Are you saying something bad happened to my friends? I didn't do it! Just chalk it up to bad luck and head on home, kiddo. You know, if something happened to them, I might get angry. Noir said not to. But the psycho's talking to herself now. Ugh, my patience is at its limit. I don't smack broads around. But maybe I need to teach this idiot some discipline. It's okay to get mad at times like this, right? I gotta get back to them. Okay. I gotta get him out of trouble. Yikes, that's bright. What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> so
such impertinence from a tiny rodent. Who are you? Where'd that airhead go? Rats like you are disgusting little bottom feeders, whose only skill is wallowing in other spill. D did she transform? No way! She, she can't be a CPU, can she? A CPU? Who gave you permission to label me as such? Holy crap! This is bad! My rat senses are screaming at me to defend myself! But my body is totally paralyzed! I'm screwed! You will call me her ladyship, scum! No! Uh, are we gonna lose? Yikes! She didn't look this strong! Who would write a game where the main character dies off so early? Weak. So weak that it annoys me. Why did I bother getting worked up over these peasants? Are you asking us or something? I mean, you're the one who picked a fight and stuff. Silence! Every noise you make irritates me further. Uh, Neptune! Enough. Time to end this. At least die in a worthwhile manner. It's all over? No. If, if only I were a CPU, I would never have lost. Lame. If I could transform, we'd be eating lunch by now. But we're gonna get a bad end. Where did I mess up my choices? I hope I can load from the last checkpoint or whatever. Time to die! No! Oh, man! Who dares to get in my way? My, my. To be both disgraceful and lovely at the same time. Pretty young things getting laid out by an ugly tramp is a rare sight. Who the hell are you? Egad, Zeus! Another villain! Wait, is she a dominatrix? An angry old hag here, a dominatrix there? Yeah, we're pretty screwed. This is an unwinnable situation. Why did you transform, Plutia? Oh, yeah, I forgot about her. Where'd she go? Did she run away? It's cool. I understand if she did. Live happily for us, our dear friend. Uh, what? Transform, do you say? Wait, that means... Never. What? That... That person is Plutie? Noir, is that how you ought to greet me? I transformed just so I could save the two of you. Poor little Noir. You have such high hopes, but such little strength to crush anything in your way. Oh, you don't have to go that far. Hmm. Oh, cute. Crying such frustrated little tears makes you look like a true adult. That's why you mustn't make that face anymore. If you do, I doubt I can control my urge to torment you. Or maybe that's what you want. Get real! <gasps> I really hate this form of hers. I told her not to transform so many times. Th this sadist is pretty? A spaced out gullible booty? Sadie is more like it. I don't believe it. I mean, I know me and the other CPUs have personality shifts, but this is way over the top. Nobody should have mood swings this ginormous. Are you Planetune's CPU? Bingo. I am CPU Iris Heart, the ruler of Planetoon. Even an idiot like you can tell, huh? You sure know how to talk big. As for that thing you're dragging behind you... Is it your little rat friend? Yes. I see. The dumb rat didn't even stand a chance against you. However, if you think such a minor victory will make me flinch, you will not live to regret it. Like a bitch in heat. Why are you so greedy about taking another's life away? You showed me a lovely sight. So I'll reward you in kind. But before that, you two. Do you see what I have? Those are... Oh, the CPU memories or whatever. <laughs> Stole them back by force? 
What a barbaric CP. You wound me. These are the payment I was owed for the special services rendered for the filthy rat. The three of us need to have an important discussion. So would you kindly shut up for a few lines? You two want these, right? Of course we do! Yeah, yeah, gimme! I see. So you do. If you want something, you know that there's a certain attitude you must adopt to get it. If you want me to give these to you, what will you give me in exchange? What do you want from us, Sadie? Uh-oh, is it my sexy bod? No, that's always off limits. But I guess if it's you, uh, it's embarrassing, but... <gasps> Idiot! When Plutie is in this form, she takes everything literally. Jokes are ineffective. Your body, hmm? <laughs> Not half bad, little one. <sighs> The shiver in my spine is going up and down like a cat chasing catnip. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. S so, uh, Sadie, uh, actually... You wouldn't dare to retract your delectable offer now, would you? Uh, um, well, that is to say... But, 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 but be gentle, <laughs> okay? Oh, my silken touch will be anything but painful. I'll look forward to closing this deal. But first, Noir, you heard Neppy's offer. So, will you not give me something even greater in value to you? Something greater than my body? Are you nuts? What else could I possibly get? <laughs> You've raised the bar to a really stupidly high spot, Neptune. Shame on me, I know. I didn't think she'd take me seriously. What's she gonna do to me? I see. So Noir doesn't really want her precious item after all. Too bad. So sad. Not like I need to keep it then. I suppose I'll just throw it away. No! You're kidding, right? If you're just gonna chuck it, give it to me instead! But I thought you'd be happy to give yourself to me for this thing. I figured you would be delighted. I wonder how long it will take for you to find another one. All by yourself. <laughs> Noir, bunch up your pride like worn undies and toss it away. It's not so bad, is it? Even if you get groped a bit or other unmentionable stuff, you're tough enough to get over it. That sounds terrible. How about you shut up? But you do have a point. If I discard this, and someone boring finds it. That would be bad. Maybe it's best to destroy it. I'll smash it on the ground and grind it to dust with my heel. Wait! Okay, just, just... Oh, did you say something that isn't what I want to hear again? <gasps> Fine! You can ask me. What? I can't hear you. I'll... Do any one thing you ask of me. So, so please. <laughs> oh, beautiful. What an attractive proposal. Whoa, that's extreme, Noir. Aww. You've both done so well today. Here is your reward for keeping me entertained. Thanks. Well, I mean, my head is knocking around some pretty complex emotions right now, but hey, with this, finally, I can... I'm sorry for all the foreplay. You're such a good villain to have waited for us in silence. I just didn't want to get involved in that ridiculous farce. Besides, aren't those two your friends? Are you sure you want them to go through with this? They are mine, yes. What's the problem? Those with the ability to become CPUs are one in a thousand. No, one in a million. You must know what will happen if someone lacking the proper qualities tries to use one of those. <sighs> they would take on a most hideous form, correct? If it happens, oh well. CPU of Planetoon, you are a cold woman. Don't misunderstand. Whether they become CPUs or hideous monsters, I will give them the same amount of my <laughs> affections. 
If I don't have what it takes to become a CPU, I'll turn into a monster. Okay, whatever. Neptune's gonna go first. Huh? Wait! Aren't you having any second thoughts or misgivings? Nope. I'm gonna go first, Noir. I said to wait! I have to become a CPU before you! Huh? The items are reacting. Impossible. <laughs> As expected of my sweet little darling. <sighs> it's been too long since I've taken on this form. Although I seem to look a tiny bit different here. I did it! I've become a CPU! <laughs> of course I did! There's no way I wouldn't! Man, what an amazing feeling! Hmm, Noir seems to act different here as well. Hmm, you are both lovely. I don't believe this. Is this even statistically possible? Why bother with statistics when reality has already given you the answer? Now then, you took us to the cleaners before, but now it's time to return the favor! <laughs> what a predicament for you, having to take on all three of us. Your body might just break. Don't act so confident. Those CPUs are the same as freshly hatched chicks. Rather, this is preferable. I'll destroy you all before you can amass any more power. How cliché. Oh, did I forget to mention? What is it? I hardly expect you to beg for mercy now. No, no. I was going to say how upset it made me that you tormented these two without my permission. So, don't you dare think I will show any leniency! Your life will be taken by my hands! It is my turn. And that's all! Yes. Curse you! Here I Not go! Bad. I can't wait, Mew! Curse you! Let me hit you! Curse you! Hmm. What to do? That's all! Here I go! Impudent. That's all! You're in the Impudent. way! I'll paralyze oh. you! It's my turn! Combo! Not bad! That's all! Yeah. Ready anytime! Say not bad! Then. That's all! Jumping on! Oh. I can't! It is my turn! This was taught to me by my predecessor! That was quite a battle. I've grown a step yet again. <laughs> Yay, victory! I feel strong. Level up! I feel more power. I level! Level up! Level up! I'm strong! I'm getting Level up! What is this power? Ah! <laughs> An easy win! Amazing! So this is the power of a CPU! I'm far from top condition, but an enemy of her caliber is a non-issue. The climax already? You are more of a lightweight than you led me to believe. You accursed, triple-teaming fools! Do you find it heroic to battle an enemy three against one? What's the loser barking about now? I remember she said something about destroying us all right here. If you haven't sampled enough of our services menu, I can always offer you some one-on-one -on -one service. <sighs> I won't forget this! <laughs> oh, that's so lame! What a third-rate parting line! Was it wise to let her escape? We could have captured her and pumped her for more information. It's fine. Tormenting someone like her isn't fun at all. 
Besides, interrogations are boring as sin. If you say so, I'm honestly surprised, Pluty. I never thought your HDD form would be quite like this. Care to clarify that statement? Form the words with that pretty mouth of yours. I see now why Noir did everything in her power to keep you from transforming. Ugh! I told you time and time again not to transform! When we change back, you're getting scolded! How cowardly of you to wait until I'm just a weak little girl. Why not scold me in these forms? Fine, if that's the way you want it. I'm a CPU now too, so even against you, I should be able to... Don't Noir, if Pluty hadn't transformed and come to our aid, we would not be in one piece. Thank you. You saved us. Aw, don't mention it. Besides... Besides? <laughs> I do so adore the small, jiggly, puffy Neppy. But this new form is quite lovely, too. Oh, I can't decide which of your bodies to take. Huh? Um, that deal. We were just... Plutia! Enough with that joke! And Noir, you said you would do any one thing I asked, right? Hmm. What kind of demand should I make? Oh, there are so many things I want you to do, but I can't decide. Huh? What are you talking about? I said that in the heat of the moment! If you take it seriously, I... Would it behoove a new CPU to say something like, I was lying? Ugh. In any event, it's uncouth to get started here. Let's go back to the Basilicon where we can take our time. The two of you had best prepare yourselves. <laughs> what should we do, Neptune? If we break our promises, I fear something even worse will happen. Let's mentally prepare ourselves. Dimension Neptunia.